I've had many people ask me what's going to happen tomorrow. Let's have a look at what the sky shows. First, we've been talking about the notable focus, which is on the Divine Feminine's victory over the lower energies, as depicted in the sacred texts and arts displaying Virgin Mary stepping on the snake. It's just a metaphor for squashing those non-loving memories, those vibrations. The exact alignment of Eris symbolizing the Virgin Mary with the North Node, the head of the snake, the cobra. That which eclipses the sun points to a specific moment of embracing and stepping into that power the Divine Feminine we all have within. Second Venus, the Mother Nature aspect of the Divine Feminine, is in eclipse position with the self node. But look at the storyline I'm showing you. Venus is the mini-me of Eris, and she's in Virgo. You see that? The mini-me of Eris is in Virgo. That's Eris's, aka the Divine Feminine's, home of purity. But wait, it gets better. Virgo is rising in the east at that exact moment. That exact moment that Eris aligns the head of the cobra. This is the Cali, the California coastline. Cali is another word for Eris, Madonna, Mictacowato, White Buffalo Calf Woman. This coastline is the 120 West. We'll bring in the map in a moment. Sticking with the divine feminine aspect, the moon is in Taurus. Thanks for making me look again at this, Revcat. Grab a star app. You will see the moon is exactly in the sky in Taurus. Another feminine sign. Now look at who wants to send energy along the 120 west line, 60 east line, Neptune in retrograde, setting in the west at the exact moment. So let's recap the cross, shall we? In the west, Neptune is in the western cross. Aquarius is setting. John the Baptist In the bottom of the chart, you have Mercury, the Akashic record holder, the holder of the memories in your waters, aligned with the star Lesaf, the scorpion's tail, and Rosselhaug, the serpent bearer, who separates a snake from eating its tail. In the eastern cross, like we said, we have Virgo rising. At the top of the chart in the south, you have Orion's belt. In the heavens, this is beautiful. But where's the sun? Where's the sun at when Mary comes to step on the snake? The materialistic sun, he's in temptations of Scorpio with the fire of Mars and the personal harvester of Sarah's. Men, women, you're both the sun. You have to control that fire. Keep at peace. Stay centered. You're being tested. Stay in the love. Get the message across in a beautiful way. So it still gets better. Let's talk about the sun. As a Dendra Zodiac at this exact alignment, the sun is sitting with the snake on the box. This is the 369 of the circle of 60. The secret to all energies. The secret to 369. Look at the beautiful message, folks. The stars are talking to us. It's showtime. We gotta love. We gotta squash that ego. We gotta hold back those fiery energies. Make them cool. Make them loving. Make them kind. Okay, let's bring in the map. As you can see, we're Virgo rising, California coastline. And here is Neptune sitting right across. And it's gonna hit this area of the map, this area of the earth. Another notable mention, it just keeps adding to the scene, Lilith, which is Medusa. She aligns the Southern Cross, the star, Acrux, and the Southern Cross. The weighing of the heart is Libra. There's so much more happening with the alignment in the stars, but I'm gonna leave it at that. This is all divine, folks. But what does that mean for me? Be good, as the French do. Thanks, Mariette. Put a cotton ball in your nativity scene every day. But I mean your internal nativity scene. Every day when you squash those old non-loving images, when you held that fire within and replaced them with loving ones, you're being shown the way. Give gratitude for the guidance. It's divine. Everyone will experience this in their own unique way. So have compassion 
while everyone reunites with one love. Every day, grab a cotton ball, put it by your nativity scene, by your heart. Spend your whole day thinking that I'm going to put that cotton ball in that nativity scene. Santa, Mama, she's home, starting her journey down the chimney of our being. <laughs>